Hello there, everyone. I'm Casey Caleb. Today we're taking a look at. There is only one perfect solution, but there are clues that will try to trick our team. The Hangover. So, it's basically like a bigger version of Shapeshift, to be fair, with a couple other rules, and they don't have to do with Edgework. So, Edgework is irrelevant in this case. So, how do we find what we need to do to solve this module? First, we have to show ourselves a note to self. And these will tell you where to go from. Um, uh, from this starting point of shh, okay? So, we'll grab down, um, you grab down our drink, whether you were sick or not, where you woke up, if you did shots or not, um, if you did w what kind of kebab you bought, or if you didn't, um, and, and how you got home. So, in this case, we have white wine, you are sick, Uh, you woke up on the floor, uh, no shots, a chicken kebab, and you walked all the way home. So, starting from this point, we get our drink that we started with, and we go in that direction. Uh, and then it's going to ask you um, stuff that's kind of related. So, did we take an Uber? No, we walked. So we're going to go this way. We are sick, so we're going to go this way. We're sick, and um, we did no shots. We're going to go down here. Uh, we did wake up on the floor. We are sick, but look, it's going back to something we've already we've already done. So that is going to be the end of this. So how did I get from here all the way over here? I followed the white line, and then I followed what applied for on the note to self. I simply walked, I was sick, and I was sick, I did no shots, I woke up on the floor, and I was sick. So it's just following um, one giant shapeshift, basically. For those of you who are not familiar with shapeshift, a card will pop up now. So um, what do we do? Well, we're going to look through, um, We're gonna, and then we're going to press the... Uh, stuff that applies in the order that we did. So let's go to remorse and contrition. That was our first one. And now the note, the note to self will go away. And this is our hangover elixir that we're trying to make. And the note to self button becomes a check elixir, which is your submit button. So we're going to go to remorse and contrition. And then our next one is going to be 500 grams of sugar. 500 grams of sugar. Next is a whole pizza. Next is tea with 18 sugars. Next is dirt. And next is patrol. And since that was our last one on the entire flowchart that we've done, we check our elixir. And that's a solved module. So let's grab another one. Never drink gin again. You are not sick. Yeah, it says you barely nearly got sick. It does not mean you are sick, but uh, you, you, you are. You are not sick. Let's just leave it at that. You woke up in your brother's bed, and just will say bed. Uh, you did shot at uh, absinthe, so that means you did do shots. Bought a shish kebab. And thank God you called an Uber. So we did take an Uber. So let's refresh the page. Another and another thing: the note to self will not be accessible once you've created the elixir. And here's another important thing: there are mentions of non-spirit and spirit. It doesn't mention that anywhere on the note to self. So what exactly does that mean? It says here: rum, gin, and vodka are considered to be spirits. We do have gin, so it is a spirit. In this case, in the last case, we had white wine. White wine is not considered to be a spirit. So, and that's just important to note because some of these will apply, like for example, the non-spirit and the spirit ones, and that will uh, impact you later. So, all right, starting at the sh again, 
we go to Jin. And some of them have arrows that don't say anything, which means you're gonna go there. So, there. Uh, we did do shots. Instead of no shots, we go this way. It is a spirit. So instead of going to stir, we go to spirit, which is a sliced apple. And we bought a shish kebab. And we're back to where we started. So going off first, we go to um, pale, then to lard, then to avocado toast, and then to sliced apple. And that's our hangover. Now, an important thing to note is that this green part is only relevant for these ones. Stir, shake, blend, and whisk. Those will be the only four that you'll find in the green section. Everything else is in the red section. Never drink cider again. Cider is not a spirit. You are sick because you curled your guts up on the cat. You woke up in your brother's bed. You did do shots. You bought a chicken kebab. And you called an Uber. Starting here again. Drinking cider. Cider. Where did you wake up? If that's next. Uh, you woke up in the bed. You called an Uber. Uh, you did take shots. Uh, you, what did you buy? Chicken kebab. You called an Uber. You did take shots. And it is a non-spirit. You are sick. You woke up in the bed. Uh, you did do shots. Okay. Yeah. That's why they give you um, about 20 slots, if I'm correct, for your hangover elixir. Because some like these can be very, very long, and some can be very short, like that last one. Because it was only four. So, starting from cider. We have dirt. We have aspirin, and we have whisk. Now, here, as you can clearly see, there are only four options in this one. So that's going to be it. So then we'll go to an uh, entire can of Red Bull. And as you can see, I'm pressing the arrows in a very weird way. The arrows, so the, so the right arrow will go to the right. We'll go to bake this. The left arrow will go to the left, and it's just a little bit of a weird um, arrow system. Um, I personally am not a fan of it, but I can't complain because I didn't make the module. So, yeah, it's just another thing and another important thing to note out. Um, bacon crisp. Then we have two raw eggs, or no, no, excuse me. It goes from bacon crisps to being to blend. No, I did it wrong. So what happens if I do, do do it wrong? Because I, you can very easily get lost. So I was supposed to go to chicken kebab to remorse and contrition. And what happens if I check my elixir? Not it, I'm afraid. It gives you a strike and gets rid of your elixir. And it shows you the same note to sell. It will not change, so I can easily enter it in. So starting with dirt. Aspirin, whisk, entire can of Red Bull, remorse and contrition, family pack of Oreos, two raw eggs, baking crisps. Blend, and then to black coffee, and that'll be it. Like I said, some of them can be very, very long. That's why they give you 20 slots. So that took up half of our um, slots available, and we check our elixir, and that's right. So let's finish up this last example, showing note to self. Never drink 
red one again. You are not sick. Uh, you woke up on the stove. You did do shots. You bought chips with mayo. So that means, basically, you bought no kebab. So let's actually just replace that with no kebab. And you walked away. There's the page. Red wine is a non-spirit. So, start from the center. Red wine. Um, you did do shots. It is non-spirit. You are not sick. And you bought no kebab. That's easy. Some of them do go back and forth, and some of them go elsewhere. So, starting from family pack of Oreos. Going over to two raw eggs. Going to baking crisps first. And then to an entire can of Red Bull. Check our elixir. And that's a solid model. So, that was the hangover for you people. And for those of you who are not familiar with Shapeshift, like I said, definitely go check out that video. Because having kind of a background knowledge of how that works will especially help. Because it's basically one giant Shapeshift. So, as always, I'm Crazy Caleb, and I hope you enjoy. Stay alive, stay crazy, stay cool, don't explode. See you guys.